I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey folks, welcome to a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. As always, I'm your host, Manny the Man Lopez, and I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, as I always do, new tips, marketing strategy on how to become successful in promoting your business online and offline. Um, so some of the stuff I've taught about recently, social media, mobile marketing, video marketing, uh, networking and expos. So if you want to check those out, uh, just check out some of my past training videos. Now, uh, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, my history. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, I, I get text messages all the time. I get emails all the time. I get calls all the time. And one of the questions I, I get a lot is, how did you get to doing this, man? How did you get to helping businesses and doing what you do? Where, where did this all come from, right? So let me give you guys a little bit of background on me because once you learn about how I got to this position of what I'm doing today, it should be a little bit easier for you to understand how I can help you, all right? So when I first started um, in, in my business, basically I'd just gone through years and years of trying to climb up the corporate, you know, corporate ladder it's just not having any success. You no, know, it's just uh, you know being young. I started obviously right out of high school, um, going right into trying to provide for my family. I had uh, married, as you can see from my thing here, married my high school sweetheart. I've actually had my first kid at 19, and from there I knew it was just I have to do something. I have to make my way. I was really brought up in the type that. You know, you got to provide for your family. You have to be there every day. You can't, you know, half it and, and expect to get great results. Um, and I know for me, the way I grew up and, and the people that was put in front of me and the people that I surrounded myself with, you know, it didn't lead me to the right path. And I saw that and I, and I recognized that. And so when I got older and I became a man and I had my own family and I decided, you know what, I'm not going to live that same boring routine of, going in coming out of uh, of their life and and fighting and arguing and all this kind of stuff that just doesn't result in a positive lifestyle the only way i found myself to become positive and to start doing things that are you know mattered and, and become great is is having a mentor somebody that is professional somebody that you know has already been through the hard things and could see a path of success for you right so you know, I wanted to really understand how I could be of service. I came across this quote uh, a few years back, right before I started my company. And um, it, went, it went like this. So, you know, you probably heard it right when this video started. It's my little PLS tips intro video. So it's uh, as I believe we are all created for greatness, you know, uh, not mediocrity, that we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it. So I came across that that quote online and it really hit home to me because I understand that, you know, I have a purpose. I have something of value that I can provide to the world. I started listening to Les Brown and to Tony Robbins and to Bob Proctor and Stan Ballou and all these big hitters that are leaders in their industry and trying to figure out what is it that they're doing that I'm not, right? And the first thing I found out is I needed to educate myself. I needed to understand what I could provide um, what of what value do I have and 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 how I can share that with others right so when I saw Les Brown and you know Les Brown's a big mentor to me he he had, uh, is actually a client of mine now uh, when I first started looking at him um, I really just saw what he did and I saw a little bit of me you know we're both orphans uh, we grew up poor we're both self-made and you know for me it's just I saw what he did in his life and I saw you know what if he can do it so can I you know he he was labeled mentally retarded at, at in his school and he was just having trouble with learning and trouble with authority and, and getting people to to really see what he could do you know he didn't have that extra push that said less this is how you do it until you know one day he had um, uh, was listening to a graduation speech at his high school and he think he was freshman or sophomore so he actually wasn't even supposed to be in there but he heard um, I think it was mr. Robinson something like that this is a uh, uh, valedictorian or the speech I don't know who it whatever it was but the guy was talking about how you have something in you there's something greatness there's one person he's gonna be able to touch at least that will change the world and when he heard that message he knew it was for him and he went out and he followed the guy did the speech and, and let him know that hey you know this is that's me that's me I, I'm that guy I'm the one who's gonna change the world I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy All right so 
Um, and he and he did that. He went out there and he changed the world because he decided that was his decision. He said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. No one's going to tell me otherwise. So I looked at that and I said, wow, that is just inspiring. And I said, what? Well, I've got to do that. I've got to find a way to do something for myself. So uh, I started thinking, okay, well, my whole career up to that point was working with consumers. So if I wanted something me, something fresh, I need to do something different. So I thought, well, let's learn about business. Let's learn how to help businesses or how to start a business, right? So I started working with this uh, Inc. 500 company uh, doing search engine optimization and learning um, lead generation, marketing, branding, learning the things that businesses needed in their business. Because I talked to hundreds of businesses every week and you know I was on a dialer and I was on sales and I was going out there talking to businesses, trying to get them signed up in SEO. Within my second month, I became the number one salesman of the company. And you know it was, it was very easy to just plug right into that market. I'd been in the relationship building aspect of my life and, and doing a lot of different sales organization. I've sold door to door, I've sold cars, I've sold newspapers, I've sold, I've sold, I've sold um, you know, phone sales. I've done, you know, like anything under the book. I, I've even tried real estate as well. So, you know, I, I saw a potential that, um, that I could teach people because I had so much experience. I mean, being so young, I was what, 22 at the time, I believe when, um, when I was working at that company and, you know, I was so young, you know, obviously they didn't want to give me any type of chance of running a team or being a manager anywhere I went because they just thought, hey, this young Latino kid, put him on the sales floor, right? So I just learned everything I could. They, they figure out I was real smart. So they came to me with a lot of different ideas. I, I ended up uh, starting a company um, as a consulting business. So it, it was a... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter the name because I never really registered or anything. I called it Brightside Financial, made a little logo for it. And this is before I even knew anything about business. So I didn't know about getting a business license, trademark, and all that kind of stuff. And just started, a, I just made a logo, named it something, and said, hey, that's my business. And so I just started consulting with businesses on helping them market themselves. And, uh, and then that really didn't do much with it because I was still working with another company. They were providing me leads. So then I started looking at, well, generating my own leads for this company. So I created a program that was able to capture information from businesses that marketed themselves online through sources like Yellow Pages, Merchant Circle, and, and things like that. And uh, started being able to basically scrape leads from online sources and generated tons of leads that I threw in my own dialer, started calling my own leads through that one company I was working with and started making a lot of sales. And so the company ended up coming to me and saying, hey, you know, where are you getting all these sales from? You aren't calling in our leads. Where are these leads at? Where are these leads from? And so I told them, well, it's my own leads. If you want to buy them from me, then you can do that. So we ended up working a deal. They ended up start buying my leads. And uh, for about a month, I was looking at that and just saying, well, hmm, let's see, I've got a company I, I know how to sell. Um, I've got leads, uh, which is a very, very big part of any business is to have quality leads to contact. And let's see, I've got um, passion. I've got a drive for what I want to do. So from there, I decided, well, let me figure out how to do something on my own. Let's figure out my own way of, of creating a product. So I figured out what businesses need. And looking at SEO, they didn't need to wait six months to get results because that's what SEO does. You, you got to sign up with a company, pay them hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars every single month for at least six months before you'd see any results. And so businesses, they wanted to find a way to generate more repeat referral clients. I heard that every single day. I want more repeat clients. I want more referral clients. I want more word of mouth business. So I saw Facebook as an opportunity to do that because it allow you to grow a network uh, within Facebook that everybody was connecting with. Um, the problem is they didn't have branding. They didn't have a way to brand themselves on Facebook that differentiated themselves with anything other than a couple pictures and a name of your company. So I created a product that allowed uh, for branding on Facebook and that's what launched my company. So I launched that company, started working with a lot of different businesses and marketing and teaching and, and coming up with different video coaching series and all this different stuff to really get businesses to understand marketing. So we started with social media. Okay. Then I knew mobile marketing is where it was going because in 2010, as I started my business, 2011, I was already saying, hey, in 2014, we're going to have more mobile users than desktop users. Okay. We're going to have more people accessing the internet through desktop 
uh, through mobile than they are through desktop right now. And in October of 2014, that actually happened. So my uh, prediction came true, which is pretty awesome. Now, I go to that because that's where I saw the market going. So you have to learn how to adapt with your business. So for me, if I stuck with our Facebook product, you know, we could still be doing very well with that, but we're targeting a very niche market. Facebook users that, you know, market themselves on Facebook and want to generate business from Facebook. But, you know, we saw that there's a very big market outside of Facebook, of course. You know, you've got the mobile industry, you've got video marketing, you've got, you know, offline marketing, you've got all these different sources of bringing in leads. So I thought, well, I can't just teach on one aspect of business. So I turned my advertising company that was a consulting business into a full service branding agency. So we did everything from you know mobile apps to Facebook funnels to video commercials to logo design to website design. Now we do everything, everything that a business would need besides SEO. I stay away from that. Um, I don't I don't like SEO at all myself. Um, you know, looking at in even an Inc. 500 company, we had about a 50% success rate of the clients that we brought on, no matter how great their business is. You know, you're working with Google, you're working with their algorithms that change every single, every 90 days. So you have something that you need to make sure you're keeping updated. And for me, it's just, I didn't see the real benefit of doing SEO myself. Uh, it's a very saturated market anyway. I like to stand out, I like to be different. And, you know, throwing my hat into the same ring as everybody, it just didn't make any sense. So for me, I, I focus on branding businesses on unique aspects and showing them ways to automate the prospecting, you know, put yourself in front of thousands and thousands of people overnight versus waiting six months to hopefully get that one phone call, right? So um, that's basically what I did. And I wanted to really understand marketing and branding. So it wasn't just create a product and then throw it out there. It's a lot, a lot of investing in yourself, investing in the time and effort it takes to become who you are. So what did I do to do that? Okay, well, I joined a company called CEO Space. Uh, it's about seven thousand dollars to join that that thing, and but it's a way for you to connect with major major leaders uh, in any type of walks of life, business, uh, investing, financial, um, entrepreneurship. I mean, anything you can think of. There's great resources through there. So you know, I invest in things like that. Um, going to trade shows, going to expos. Um, you know, reading a lot of articles, getting up to date with stats and figures in my industry. So if I'm promoting mobile marketing, then well, let, I need to know everything about mobile marketing. I need to know that text messages have a 95% open rate. I need to know that there was a billion devices sold in the Android platform just last year. I need to know that Apple is the most profitable company in the world. They just per, you know, just show their quarterly earnings of what, 85 billion, something like that, 75, no, I think 75 billion and 65 of that or 50 something like that a really huge amount was just one product the iphone so you have a very very huge market that is um virtually untapped right now in the mobile arena and so my focus this year is really helping businesses understand mobile technology how to get their businesses mobile and facilitating the whole aspect of it not only branding them creating their apps and their mobile technology packages and all that stuff but i'm teaching them how to market efficiently as well you can't practice what you don't preach. You don't preach what you don't practice, I guess. So for me, I really need people to get what we're doing. And by doing that is, is just sharing what I do, sharing how I do it. So for me to get to this position, it's a lot of time and effort, a lot of failure. You know, there's not a, a shortcut to success. Um, I've had a lot of setbacks in what I do. There's a lot of uh, headaches into what I do. There's a lot of days where I've wondered why am I still doing this, you know? Um, but it, it comes to a point of there's a reason behind everything. There's a reason why you continue to do what you do. And there's just ways that you have to go about doing it and keeping yourself in the right mindset to do it right. You can't go and expect to get all these crazy results and have a positive mindset and never expect anything to go negative. And when it does, you just, you know, just shoot out everything. I mean, it makes no sense. You have to understand you're going to have obstacles. You're going to have things that you will have to overcome. And by doing what, you know, you do on a daily basis, staying positive, staying focused, continuing on your passion and making sure your goals are outlined and you're hitting those goals, you know, that's how you're going to make sure that you're lining yourself up for success. Um, another thing that I like to focus on as well is just making sure that you make sure you you balance your family time and business time very wisely because the last thing you're going to want to do is go into a position to where you're um, you hate the work that you do you come home and you're miserable uh, the family doesn't even know you because you're not there every day 
You know, that's, you don't need that in your business. You need to make sure you're happy at home because if you're not happy at home, you're not going to be happy at work. Okay. You're not going to be happy in your business. So make sure that you're finding time to spend with family, to spend with friends, to spend doing your hobbies and your passion and make sure that work is something that you love. Work is never work if, if you love it. It's just called passion. It's called, you know, your life's ambition. You know, you don't want to, uh, to look at work as a four letter word. You want to look at work as empowerment, as something that you're, you're positioning yourself to change the world. Find something that you are going to do to change the world. Everybody has something. Okay? The problem is, is that less than 1% of people will actually go out there and pursue that passion. They'll actually go out there and make that dream into reality. Less than 1%. Okay? This is why you know, you've got all these famous people and these, these big name celebrities, but there's so few of them. There's not millions of them. There's hundreds, maybe. Right? There's not big amount with billions of people in the world and there's like a hundred plus celebrities. I mean, it's crazy the amount of, of exposure these businesses can bring you. But if you're not really um, acclimated to securing your own success, you know, you're really just going to go with the flow. So I'm going to leave you with guys with that today. Really understand that there's something of value that you have. You have to understand that there's going to be a process of getting there. It's not an easy walk through step by step. I'm going to be there. Here's how it does. And I'm not going to have any issues getting there. There's going to be obstacles to overcome. Make sure you understand that. Okay. Make sure you understand that there's always going to be a way for you to get better. There's always a way for you to learn. You've never, I, I learned things every day. I went to an event just yesterday and learned certain things about uh, marketing and, and Facebook and targeting ads that even I didn't know being named one of the best by Facebook, you know, there's some things I'm still going to learn. Um, I have to learn just as everybody else does. And if you're not, you know, dedicated to learning your craft and being the expert in your industry, then don't expect to be to get expert results. That's simple. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Uh, if you are a Power Lead System member, make sure you're getting this coaching out to your team. Keep them focused. Keep them acclimated to what we're doing here. Uh, get them in the Facebook group. We've got over 10,000 members right now and it's just growing. You know, I think we probably have about 11,000 close to by now. So um, just make sure you are staying uh, committed to your coaching. Stay committed to your craft. Stay committed to your passion. All right. And always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed and I will see you next week. Thank you. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the town.